My letter was written on August 17, 1944, from Willamette, to a soldier in World War II who she refers to as dearest in every letter. Willamette uses several rhetorical devices in the letter. For example, she expresses her emotion to cooking by using pathos. She seems very passionate about cooking and talks about what she had for supper and how she made the supper. She describes what ingredients she used and how she used each one of them. By doing so, she shows her emotion and passion towards cooking. Willow Mega uses storytelling to talk about how her mother got sick and how she thinks it might have been due to the heat or the capers in the stuffed tomatoes. Then she goes on and talks about what she had for supper, which was salmon croquettes, potatoes of brine, doubled eggs, stuffed tomatoes, and iced tea. She uses simple speech to keep the letter short and simple for the reader, thus making her story not hard to understand and follow. Since it was 1944, one of the major things that were happening in the country was racism. Segregation was still a big part of the society, mainly in the South States, and that gave the country a bad image, even though it was fighting a war and was promoting freedom. You could say that Will, while Willow Meadow was writing her letter, racism was running a big part of the country and not a lot was being done about it. This was the world in which this letter was written in. Another historical element was that the economy was improving. With the Great Depression coming to an end, new jobs were being created for people thanks to the war. The war also allowed women to get involved in the workforce, meaning during this time women got more respect, and men stopped looking at women as only a housewife. Overall, I think Willamette accomplished her purpose of letting the reader know how she's doing, and also letting him know how knowledgeable and passionate she is about cooking. With such a short letter, she keeps things calm and simple, and tries to give the reader a little bit of peace.